Let me get started off with a conversation I had with David Wimmer. How well did you sleep last night? How good was your posture? Probably not as good as it ought to be. And that's our conversation with chiropractor Dr. David Wimmer. Well, a lot of what we see is, is due to uh, repetitive strains or repetitive postures that cause complaints with the patients that come in. Uh, many people may be ignoring the fact that while they sleep, that is a repetitive posture. There's good ways to sleep and there's not so good ways to sleep. And if we're doing it improperly, we're not going to get the rest and recovery time that we need. And that can cause chronic strain on the spinal joints and the nerves that exit from the spine. You have a spine here. Uh, this would represent, I guess, the uh, the average length or the average uh, spine length of the average height individual. Yeah, it is. This is kind of the, the average spine. Uh, each of these segments is, is a vertebra. The discs are in between. And if we look here, this is the, the normal curvatures of the spine. We see the neck with a gradual uh, forward sloping curve. Then things turn around in the mid-back. Then it goes back again in the lower part of the back. Now, ideally, we want those normal curves supported while we sleep and when we sleep on our back that can be managed uh, but if we sleep on our back with too many pillows under our neck we see that that's going to change that normal curvature it also sometimes helps to sleep with a pillow between your knees or under your knees to support this now the second best option would maybe be to sleep on your side because again those normal curves can be maintained but if we use too many pillows that's going to put strain on the neck. Mm -hmm. That looks painful. If we don't use enough pillows, then it's going to turn it the other way. And in addition, sleeping with a pillow between your knees in this position can sometimes help take some of the strain off the lower part of the back. Now, it would seem when, when an individual falls asleep, we all kind of, I'm presuming, we all kind of move around, we find that ideal, comfortable position. Isn't our muscles telling us what's comfortable and not the spine? Because if we're, we might find a comfortable position. I know I do. I, I do exactly what you said not to do. I find a comfortable position where I've got my neck bent in a way that I probably should not be sleeping. Yeah, sometimes those areas of comfort are because your spine may not be allowing you to get in the proper position because there are already fixations there that aren't allowing the proper movements. The worst thing we want to do is actually turn and sleep on our stomach. We don't stand much of a chance of supporting those normal curves at all. And unless you have a hole in your pillow so that your face can remain straight down, then that's going to cause a twist or a bend in the spine. Then, like I say, over time is going to cause fixations or cause those joints to become stuck and cause a lot of irritation to the nerves that are exiting from the spine. So if someone likes to sleep on their stomach, and of course your, your, your bed here, you've got a place where the face and the chin and everything can go so they can have their, 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 their spine aligned, but what about the individual who likes that? I mean, do you have pillows with holes in them? You don't see that too often. It's best to try to break that habit, and it, it can be a difficult uh, habit to break. Sometimes using a full-length body pillow can, can help with that because you can sleep on your side, uh, kind of hug that pillow. It'll go in between your knees and keep you from rolling over from side to side. Now you've got a pillow back here. What is the function of, because uh, of, I've seen these specialty pillows before. Tell me about this and what its function is. There's a lot of different types of specialty pillows. I really like this one. It's from a company called Chiroflow, and it's actually a water-based pillow. You fill the bottom of the pillow uh, with water. That allows you to set the amount of tension. Uh, more water, it's a little firmer. Less water and you get a little more of the foam on top. The water allows for the support to roll as you sleep. So if you change from on your back to on your side, that support's going to move with you and help keep your spine in, in that proper alignment. People that have used these pillows and studies have shown that people will tend to fall asleep faster, they have less neck pain or discomfort, uh, and overall better sleep quality. So go ahead and lay that on the bed there. And uh, so the head's going to be up here like this. And th what that's going to do, of course, uh, the, the head weighs, what, 10 pounds, something like that? <laughs> 8 to 12 pounds, about like a bowling ball. Yeah. So that's obviously going to then push that down in if this were full of water and allow that to be molded around the and head and support that the spine. To mold around that normal curve that we like to see in the spine, which is that s reverse C-shaped curve. Make a big difference in, uh, in, in, in life? It does make a big difference, especially in the long run. Uh, now, if problems have developed to where um, you're having persistent pain and change in sleep postures isn't enough, then those fixations may need to be addressed in, in your chiropractor's office. 
Wimmer Chiropractic at 2203 Graves Mill Road in Forest, 434-845-9000, and online, wimmerchiro.com. 